Good morning guys, welcome to today. It's Saturday. Kind of a special day and you'll see why in a minute or maybe in 10 minutes in this video. But I'm down at the barn alone. I let the girls sleep in on the weekends and I do all the chores myself. So I pretty much spend a couple hours at the barn in the morning. Kind of shocking because Penny was not standing out there looking up at the house like she normally does. So I'm wondering what, what they're doing. I'm gonna turn on the light and that will signal the horses to whinny and make noise and say, hurry up, bring me my breakfast. We'll see if that happens. I'm gonna turn on the lights now. Oh, nothing. Don't hear anything. Oh, there's some noise. They hear something going on, they just don't know what it is yet. Oh, there's the baby. The baby. Baby was winning. How come you weren't waiting for me? Oh, it's so bright in this camera. Alright, Penny's there waiting. And the mini was making some noise. And Chino was just pawing the ground like he normally does. Oh, right, Chino, you want some breakfast? Alright. There you go, buddy. There you go. Have your breakfast. Have your breakfast. You got shavings all over you. You have shavings all over you. Rolling in your stall. All right, girlies, go to your spot. Yeah, go to your spot. You gotta go to your spot. You gotta go to your spot. Come on. Nice sunny day today, Pen. Hey. Eh? All right, I'm coming with your breakfast. Oh, we got pigeons in here. Oh my gosh. Look at you, you're so dirty. I thought you were in here all this time because you didn't want the mud, but look, you're dirty. Who else is dirty? Hello, Willow. Nope, that's not your bucket. There you go, Willow. All right, Gracie. There you go, Grace. Oh, so bright in here. So my goal today, digging down here earlier, and I noticed, because I was trying to make a thing for the water to go down and I noticed there's gravel under this mud I'm like in gravel what the heck I think if I move that mud there's gonna be nice hard gravel there and I won't have as much mud so I'm gonna try that today I'm gonna get the tractor it's really nice out I'm gonna close the door here I'm gonna feed the the minis in the arena today I'm going to try and uh, do that. See if I could do that. I was hoping to be a little bit more dry because I might have to wait till tomorrow because it's kind of wet. My tractor would not be good in the wet. So. Good morning, guys. Welcome today. Today we have something totally different. All the snow is disappearing. Today is the very first day that Gabby is getting to go to an award ceremony, an equestrian award ceremony. You guys know that the year before COVID, Gabby took Chino to her first rated show. It was called Trillium. It was Trillium series and she did, they did really well and they went to champs. Because of COVID, the award ceremony that was going to happen got canceled. So Gabby never got to like go to any award ceremony. She didn't get to get any ribbons, like some, you know, ribbons for the show she did. Fast forward past COVID. Sorry, this is Daisy the Dalmatian. She's, she thinks that everybody is for her. So all she wants is love. <laughs> Anyways, fast forward past COVID and she went started the season this season off at Trillium and unfortunately Trillium got cancelled at the very like after the very first show for from a uh, lack of entries so Gabby did not get so she didn't get to finish at Trillium this year but Trillium is having their annual banquet and award ceremony to celebrate all their riders from the last two years like the last two seasons that there was a, a Trillium show so um, we're getting to go to that tonight. We're going with friends and it means dressing up and and Getting fancy and we're so super excited and I can't wait to share it with you
I like to uh, clean the stalls with music on. You can hear in the background. Christmas music now. Thumbs up if you listen to music when you clean your stalls. So I got this stall all cleaned up the other day. And yeah, we usually just put them in stalls when they're in fairs here and stuff. But you never know, could be a Christmas surprise this Christmas. You never know. What's the matter, Willow? Yeah, so yeah, it was too muddy, couldn't do it. Have to wait maybe another day or two to let it dry and then I'll try and get it done. Or have to convince Laura that I need another tractor. Which gives me an excuse to buy another tractor. And I was I want another tractor anyway, so there we go. The other problem is with my tires are weighted too on my tractor so they just like sink in this mud because there's no uh, proper tread like agricultural tires have the big thick tractor tread these are agriculture tires these are used and garbage now but see how they have the big traction that would plow through the mud and these are usually weighted too so you have more traction control my tires are just spinning around like crazy so I mean, it got some of it done, but I have to wait till it actually dries a bit more. So yeah, that was a fail. We're in the car, we're just headed out to go to this thing, and it's just been rushed, us trying to get ready. But I wanted to tell you really quick the story about Gabby's dress, and then I'm gonna show you Gabby's dress, because I really wanna like take some pictures of this dress and take pictures of her in this dress. So basically, Gabby researched the dress that she wanted. This is like her first adult-ish kind of dress. Like when she was young, she wore dresses, and she hasn't the whole time she was like a teenager. So it's her first real dress. And she had an idea of what she wanted it to be, what kind of style it was. And she looked it up online. She found the shoes she wanted online and the dress type that she wanted online. So then when it came time for us to go and look for the dress style that she wanted, we went to every store in our mall and we could not find it, the dress. Like we just could not find it. They didn't have that exact same kind of style. They just had like those really tight slinky kind of dresses. And she wanted one that had like a bit of a flair to it. So we finally end up in the store and they're like, there's a new store that just opened in the mall, go there. So we're like, okay, we walk in and it's just sitting right there. There's one dress and it's black and she wanted black and it's just sitting there and it's the almost exact style that she wants. It's so similar and I grab it and there's only one in the whole store. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is it. And we look at it, it's a size four. We don't even know what size Gabby wears in dresses. She hasn't worn them, worn them for so long. So we go and she tries it on and the lady in the store goes and she like tries to find every other dress that kind of has like a, a more puffy, um, bottom to it so that Gabby can try them on. Gabby tries the dress on. Like I said, no idea if it's even going to fit her. Fits her perfectly. It's like the perfect dress. Like I do not even know how we found it. I was going to vlog us looking for a dress that day, but it was just such a grumpy day because we were not finding the dress that she wanted. And then we walk into a store and it's the only one in one size and it fits her perfectly. I'm like, this dress is meant to be. But that is not where our story ends so we go to pay for this dress like we are getting this dress no matter what it's just totally meant to be so we go to pay for this dress and she says here you can fill in the form and i'm like what do you mean fill in a form i've never had to fill in a form before when i bought a dress and she says you know that this is a dress rental store don't you and i'm like oh man it's a dress rental store so i said to gabby like i want you to be able to keep your dress this is something like so special and and it took us so long to find it. I said, do you want to just go and try other stores? And she said, no, this is the dress I want. So we just rented a dress. We rented a dress. I didn't even know that, that was a thing. It's brand new out there. People are, she said it's to fill the need of people who buy holiday dresses that they only wear one time. And they have wedding dresses there. They have like all different kinds of dresses. Anyway, she steamed it, got it ready. We went back and picked it up after we went to find shoes. And that's the story of Gabby's dress. So now we're going to show you guys the dress. Gabby thinks she's going to fall in her shoes, but I don't think so. No. It's like her wedding day. I don't know. Stay down. 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 Stay down.
way down. Oh, it looks so cute. Just wait. You have to go that way a little bit because I can't see it. Um, my dress might go up. Hey, you're wearing a necklace. All right. All right. So wait, it's not letting me show. All right. Uh, I'll have to show you guys when we get there. I'm going to try and video a little bit, but those are her shoes. That's her dress. That Don't she's help. <laughs> the camera. It's too windy for this. It's too windy. I said, let's take a picture before we leave the house. It was too windy at the house. All right. But inside the house. All right, we'll show you when we get there. It is so adorable. Like, it's complete. It is so adorable, you guys. All right, guys, I'm out with Sophie here, and we're doing our dinner, and and we weren't sure where to go for dinner. Isn't that crazy? Like, and we don't have time to do a regular dine-in, so where do we end up? Oh, Wendy's. Wendy's. We ended up at Wendy's because it's a new building, and we haven't been in here yet, so I'll show you what we got. I got a bacon eater, and Sophie just got a regular burger. Plain Jane, fries and burger, that's where we are. Yeah, my glasses on, didn't even know I was filming. I think I'm filming now, okay. Anyways, uh, after this, we're going to see a movie. We're gonna see Avatar, but we didn't know it didn't come out till December. So we're gonna see Wakanda forever, Wakanda forever. All right, we can't see nothing. We're in the theater. And sorry, Gabby, but we're in the D box. Yeah. This means our, our seats might move and shake and make noise. I don't know. We're gonna have fun. Hopefully, you're having fun there. There's a remote. There's a remote on our chair. I don't know what that does, but. Well, maybe it makes louder noises when you go up or down. Okay, we'll go over there. Put it on maximum. We're putting them on maximum. We're going all out here today. Mine on maximum. <laughs> Did you feel that? Mine shook. Thank you. <laughs> Took a picture of Gabby's food so that I could post it online. This is the swanky bathroom. Swanky bathroom. It even has a plant. We've been taking pictures by this tree here. But look at how nice that mirror is. We should all get in. <laughs> no, come on, we're just getting this though. In the mirror. Come on, that's duty <laughs> all right we're back from the movies and that was awesome i didn't think it was gonna be that great the chairs were the best part chairs were the best part if you're gonna see a movie you might as well get the chairs because it sometimes shocks you no it doesn't shock you but it freaks you out because it's so because it like it was like when something goes boom, your chair shakes and it's like, oh wow, that was interesting. Scared Sophie a couple times. <laughs> Me, it felt like I was flying in the air. Remember when it was flying in the air? You're like, oh, I'm actually flying in the air. And it also was 3D. So it really felt like you're flying in the air when you're flying in the air. Yeah, it was a great movie. Anyways, we're waiting for uh, Laura and Gabby. Gabby to show up so we can go home.